Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tara too. I'm so glad you're here. Today's date is Thursday, August 21st, 2025. In this video, we're going to look into some very interesting information I've gleaned about the recently announced painting of the border wall that separates Mexico from the United States. From what I've seen and plan to share with you, it looks to me as if there's some major profiteering going on with this project, or there's something very different or special about the paint that's being used, and possibly additional purposes for the paint that haven't been reported yet. So let's see if the tarot can help us get some clarity on the situation. But first, I want to go on record as saying that I personally support the border wall completion, and I realize that the CBP has a very tough job to do. And I want to fully support all their efforts, but I don't support profiteering if that's what's at play here, no matter who's doing it. That's the Laura's view on things. Now, I want to share some data with you and we'll see what the tarot cards have to say. I apologize in advance. I'm going to be reading some hard data. I want to get it right so this won't be as much extemporaneous, you know, just you and I talking as usual until we get into the tarot element of the video. Okay, so I tried to be really careful in getting these facts that I wanted to share with you. First of all, the area to be painted. There's approximately 1,954 miles to the U.S.-Mexico border. Right now, there's uh, 500 miles targeted for black paint in 2025. Okay, now if you take the way the, the uh, wall has been constructed, that leaves 214 million square feet four sides with tops, six inch wide bollards, four inch gaps that has to be painted. And then most projects have uh, two coats. So 50 to 100 square feet per gallon to be used. In 2020, there was a uh, uh, Washington Post cited government contracting sources and had some estimates for what painting the, the uh, wall might be. And I looked at those and had those adjusted for inflation. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted you to know where this sourcing was. Right now, checking on the government available websites for contracting, there does not seem to have been any kind of contract issued for this painting, which is already in process. So it's happening without a formal government contract, number one, which may be why it's so expensive, because that's always pricier to do projects like this without a contract. And it may not be the way that business should be conducted in the future no matter whether it's the Border Patrol or any of our other um, <laughs> representation services. So let's take a look at some of the costs. There was $46.5 billion allocated for the border barrier system for construction, technology, personnel, etc. when the big, beautiful bill was passed in July. And the cost of painting that wall appears to be about two to ten times what it would be for a similar commercial project. You see, specialized, and I looked at special epoxy paints for this, you know, the most expensive out there to come up with this. The wall's paint is going to cost approximately $135 to $271 uh, dollars per gallon, depending on what type of paint is used. And as I said, that's two to ten times higher than a large-scale commercial project might be. <clears throat> okay, so... We're going to find out if there's something going on with this paint. We just have to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to get down here, and I did have the exact cost currently for uh, 2025 for commercial. Let me see if I can find that and share with you. Yeah, commercial paint uh, for projects varies from $25 to $125 per gallon. Uh, it's uh, $50 to $75 for a quality epoxy. So we have that. And that uh, it totals out to... 50 to 50 cents to three dollars per square foot including labor and materials now i realize too with the border painting project there's some logistics involved that is going to increase labor and material costs but still to come up with a project that's going to end up being two to ten times higher i wonder what's going on and i think it's a great question to be asking the tarot about so here in just a second, I'm going to uh, switch the camera and we'll work with the cards and, and find out what the universe wants us to know. It, as I said, is there a, a lot of profiteering going on here with this jump? We know that oftentimes without proper oversight, there is a, uh, a government project end up being way more costly 
than they should be, number one, and then more costly than they need to be. And this, uh, I'm having trouble with this because, you know, for example, with the uh, um, Boeing contract that Trump had ratified for the uh, Air Force One construction, he played hardball on that. And nobody's questioning the fact that these painting costs are so much higher for the border uh, wall than uh, than should be had. So to me, it's getting to the 50-50. Profiteering doesn't seem quite as likely because President Trump is careful about being really smart in um, <clears throat> what he contracts. Or it could be the fact that there's, I couldn't find a contract for this paint. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to switch the camera and we'll let the universe tell us because I'm mystified. Profiteering, something special added into the paint. By the way, I did look into um, what happens to that wall when it's painted. We know the surface temperature raises, but I looked into what would that change as far as the structural uh, frequency and vibration. And it would effectively during the daytime hours lower the frequency of the wall. And as you know, or may be aware, in the past there has been some discussion that the wall's construction was designed in such a way to either harness or release energy, possibly frequencies to um, aid in healing, etc. So there's been a lot of chatter about what else could the wall do besides deter illegal immigration. Okay, let's uh, see what the universe wants us to know about it, because it's a, I think it's a fascinating topic, and I apologize for the math. <laughs> but I wanted you to know that I had reviewed for government contracts. I had looked at some data from 2020. I adjusted it for inflation. I checked into what current commercial um, large-scale projects would be for painting, and still tried to find some way to justify what seems to be the total being allocated for this painting. And... A comparison and there's just no way around it. It's two to ten times higher. Okay, so we're going to be asking about the uh, um, painting aspect of the border wall, which um, seemed to get quite acceptance without a lot of people looking into it. And yes, it did take uh, quite a bit of time for me to check for government contracts for the paint to see. I wanted to see where it was sourced from to see if that, you know, then I got to looking at the costs. Ooh. So what we want to find out is, is there something, is there a purpose or an additive to this paint that we have not been informed of and additional insights in inspiration, information <laughs> about it? I think that's the best way to go. Wondering if there's some woo element going on here. So is there, was, is there a purpose besides a stated one or additives to this paint? The, is why it's so expensive plus additional insights and information. So let's find out what's going on here. Okay, our first card is the Two of Pentacles. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Chariot. Then we have the Knight of Cups. We have Wands. More wands with 10 for the wands when I said we have wands. And we have five of wands and we have the four of swords. Looks like there is some unstated purposes going on with this border wall with this. Don't have a hard yes at this point, but we're going to get four more cards before we're done. So let's see what we're asking about. Like I said, looking at the square footage and figuring, you know, um, high grade, uh, good uh, commercial paint, two coats. The cost is just way beyond for this project what it would be in a commercial venture and i wondered is it just because for whatever reason they didn't do a contract on this or is somebody profiteering or third option is it because there's something that's special that's been added to this paint okay so what i'm getting here with the situation it looks like a couple of the things we're uh, um looking at here um are in play Okay, there is some profiteering going on. They could have been much more cost effective by going out on contract for this. But apparently, because they didn't want uh, 
competitive pricing. I think they've got somebody doing this that's adding something to the paint for whatever purposes, and let's see if we can kind of figure out what that is. So the chariot for the recent past is a victory card, so it's like it's right there. We're getting some reassurance that, hey, this is a topic you're interested in, you want information about, um, you want some clarity on, but overall what you need to be aware of is that uh, this this project and this topic is not one that's nefarious. The chariot is considered to be the younger version of the emperor and it's a victory card. It talks about things moving and uh, um, good changes kind of happening. The uh, knight of cups is again what's telling me right here that the uh, um, there's might be some additives to this paint that would make the cost more relatable if we knew the full details, okay? The, uh, uh, let's look at the near future here and get some insights from that. So the 10 of wands, that's for completing the wall. <laughs> it's gonna get completed. It's been quite the project, okay? And it's had opposition and it looks like some of that opposition is still going to continue. But what's telling me is that there's some purposes to what's going on here. And what we've been told is the Four of Swords, which often talks about, you know, uh, we're going to give you some information, but some is being kept in reserve for purposes that will later be clear or that we can tell you about later when operational safety is uh, secured. Let's get some additional cards and see. We've got the Six of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Knight of Wands, and another victory card in the Six of uh, Wands for the final card here. So yeah, we've got some profiteering going on here. Yeah, the costs don't have to be that high, but because they wanted to use a particular paint from a particular person or provider, um, that's just uh, the way it was. And, and again, there's going to be some disclosures later about uh, we're going to understand more about why this paint costs so much. It's not just to make the surface hotter and uh, deter illegal immigration. Um, I mean, I, I'm for it just for that purposes, but there's more going on here. Absolutely. And uh, there we have it. So, yeah. Unfortunately, there is a profiteering element to this. Um, greasing the wheels, etc., whatever it might be. Uh, but the reason they didn't go out on contract for it is because they wanted a particular paint from a particular provider. I'm willing to be wrong if somebody on this project comes forward and says, oh, no, no, in this 50 mile stretch, we use this company. And in this 50 mile stretch, we use this company. And, you know, they show me I'm wrong. That's fine. <laughs> Tarot explorations. Um, unfortunately, in our complicated world, sometimes they're more accurate than what uh, we're being told but I'm always willing to be wrong or slightly misguided in the information I share with you. And sometimes I almost want to be because, as I said, complicated world, and uh, we got a long ways to go, folks, even though we've come a long ways. Let's recap. I had a viewer that asked me to uh, look in with the tarot cards and see, hey, what's going on with this painting of the border wall? Is there more going on to this than meets the eye? It didn't take long to realize there certainly was. Now, it could have been a very mundane type of answer, or it could have been a little bit woo. <laughs> and I asked the universe about it. Now, why could it have been mundane? Because when I looked at, had there been a government contract for the paint, none could be found. And the cost of the paint, which is being financed through the uh, um, border completion element of the one big beautiful bill that passed in July, the uh, uh, paint costs seem to be two to 10 times higher than it would be for a commercial large scale venture. I looked at 2025 uh, prices for commercial ventures and two to 10 times higher. That's either some very special paint or someone's taking advantage of the fact that there was no contract and uh, there's profiteering going on. Well, there's a little bit of profiteering going on. The, the universe shared that with us, but it also did give us some indication without a hard yes that there is uh, something about this paint besides what we're being told. There's a purpose besides just having the surface be more rust resistant and to hotter during the daytime to deter illegal immigration. 
And uh, so that's what we got from it. That there's a little, there's a combination of things going on with the, the paint. Okay. Uh, some of it is just not available for us to glean right now. But it has been indicated not just once, but twice in this uh, video that there's some information that's just not quite in available to us at this point about it. But a nod to the fact with the pinnacles that showed up over and over again, the uh, in the read, we had the five and the six of uh, pinnacles that showed up just saying, yeah, this was our, you know, there's a, a little bit, again, these aren't high value. There's some profiteering that went on with this project, or maybe someone had to be convinced uh, of why a certain paint needed to be applied and at this time and what have you. So, uh, but the uh, reassuring card for the recent past was the chariot card. We had two victory cards that showed up in the course of this read, just saying this, folks, this is a win for people. Okay, it's not just about um, deterring illegal immigration. There's more going on here. This uh, wall may be able to uh, have more meaning or value for the world than just a, a deterrent for illegal immigration, but the time to show how it could be tweaked and utilized in that way is not quite with us yet. So sharp-eyed viewers that said, hey, what's up with this paint? <laughs> Good for you. It was a valid topic to go into. And again, I do support the completion of the border wall. I support the uh, um, border patrol, but no matter who's doing it, I would never, ever be a, a fan of profiteering. It's something, no matter who it is or what the... Uh, reason is I just can't be a fan of supporting support it and it just didn't also didn't sit right with me that where President Trump is so careful about costs like the negotiations he did the hardball he played about the uh, with the uh, contracts for Air Force One I just couldn't see him letting something like this slide unless there was more going on than meets the eye and it is there is we'll find out as time goes on what that is exactly but uh, um, the purposes for the paint are broader and larger than we've been told. That's it for this video. Until next time, I wish you love, light. I wish for you everything bright. If you're willing to receive it, that's yours. And I'd love to have you be a subscriber if you're willing. Thank you. Bye.